Science 4. Animal Reproduction and Life Cycles. Objectives. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to Identify the two kinds of reproduction. Compare the stages of the life cycle of different animals. Describe the effects of the environment on the life cycle of animals. And Appreciate the importance of animal reproduction and life cycles. Look at the picture. What do you see? Which do you think comes first, the egg or, the chicken? This question has been asked many times before. Why do we still continue to ask this question? People have different answers about this. Zelenitsky said that that egg comes first, because chickens evolved well after the meat-eating dinosaurs laid these eggs. A team of scientists said that the chicken and egg can both come first. Others said that the hen and the rooster must mate first, then, the hen may lay an egg and, grows into a chicken. Today, you will learn about the life cycle of animals and, how reproduction plays a vital role in, sustaining the life cycles of animals. What is reproduction? Reproduction is the process by which, an animal generates offspring. There are two types of reproduction. Sexual and, asexual reproduction. Sexual reproduction is the process wherein an animal joins with another animal to produce offspring, through fertilization. Fertilization is the process where a sperm cell, from the male animal, unites with an egg cell, from the female animal. The union of these cells results in a fertilized egg called zygote. The zygote matures and develops into a young animal. There are two kinds of sexual reproduction. Viviparous and oviparous. The fertilized eggs of some animals like, cats, pigs, dogs, lions, kangaroos, and, carabaos, develops inside the womb of their mother. These animals give birth to their young, and when the young is born, it resembles its parent animal. These animals are described as viviparous. Some animals like, frogs, snakes, birds, lizards, fishes, and, crocodiles, lay eggs from which their young hatch. These animals are described as oviparous. The zygote is protected by a hard outer covering called shell. The second type of reproduction is called asexual reproduction. Animals that produce their own kind with no sex cells undergo asexual reproduction. With this type of reproduction, there is no union of cells from two animals and, cells for the young, are taken from only one parent. The different kinds of asexual reproduction are, budding, cell division, fragmentation, and, parthenogesis. Budding is the process that results in offspring, growing from the main body of the parent organism. A good example of an organism that reproduces through budding, is hydra. Cell division is a kind of asexual reproduction wherein cells divide and multiply, in a very short period of time. Bacteria are examples of organisms that undergo cell division. Fragmentation is another kind of a sexual reproduction that, some organisms undergo. In this process, the body of the parent animal breaks into pieces and, each piece, develops into a new organism. One animal that reproduces through fragmentation is the planaria. Parthenogenesis is a kind of sexual reproduction wherein the eggs of an organism, develop into another organism, 
even without going through fertilization. This is common among Komodo dragons, worms, fishes, lizards, and some insects like bees and wasps. Some animals look like their parents when they are born. Others do not look like their parents immediately after their birth. During their life cycle, they appear in different forms before they finally look like their parents. The complete progression of changes that an organism undergoes throughout its life, is referred to, as life cycle. Different organisms have different life cycles. A simple life cycle is one in which, an organism goes through three stages. Before birth, young, and adult. Birds and fowl, fishes, reptiles, and mammals have simple life cycles. Birds and fowl like chickens develop inside the parent animal in an egg. Most female fishes lay their eggs in open waters and the males fertilize these. They are cold-blooded animals. All reptiles are cold-blooded animals like crocodiles, alligators, snakes, and turtles. Their life cycles begin as eggs. Mammals are warm-blooded animals. After fertilization, the young develops and grows inside the female mammal's body. Some mammals like horses, monkeys, and cows produce only one young at each birthing. Other mammals like whales, dolphins, dogs, and cats have two or more young at each birthing. After giving birth, female mammals nurse or feed their young with milk. An organism with a complex life cycle goes through several stages of development, in which, the young experiences major changes in size, form, and appearance, at each stage of the life cycle, called metamorphosis. Amphibians like frogs and salamanders, and insects like butterflies and dragonflies goes through this life cycle. Metamorphosis may be complete or incomplete. Complete metamorphosis is the kind of life cycle that includes the egg, larva, pupa, and adult stage. Most insects like butterflies, flies, moths, and mosquitoes undergo complete metamorphosis. Egg, first stage in the life cycle. Larva, second stage of growth, egg transform into caterpillar, plant eater. Pupa, chrysalis, third stage of growth. The larva stops eating and starts wrapping itself in a hard covering called cocoon. Adult stage, the cocoon breaks and an adult insect flies out. Incomplete metamorphosis is observed in insects that do not go through the larval and pupal stages. Their life cycle includes only the egg, nymph, and adult stages. Among the insects that undergo through this kind of metamorphosis are, grasshoppers, bugs, cockroaches, crickets, and dragonflies. The life cycle begins as an egg. Then the egg hatches into a nymph, or tiny adult that does not have wings yet. As the nymph grows into adult, it develops wings and lays eggs, and a new life cycle begins. To check how well you understood the lesson, let us have a short exercise. Identify what is being asked. 1. What are the two types of animal reproduction? 2.Sexual and asexual reproduction. 2. What are the kinds of sexual reproduction?
Answer. Viviparous and oviparous. Three. What are the kinds of asexual reproduction? Answer. Budding, fragmentation, cell division, and parthenogenesis. Four. What are the two types of animal cycles? Answer. Simple and complex life cycles. Five. What are the stages in a complete metamorphosis? Answer. Egg, larva, pupa, adult. You are awesome. You've got them right. When the changes in the environment occur, some animals survive and reproduce, while others die or move to new places. All organisms cause changes in the environment where they live. These changes can be harmful or beneficial to other organisms. Animal reproduction is important for the survival of all living things. Without a mechanism for reproduction, the life of animals would come to an end.